Hello students, welcome back to your virtual learning class. Today we are going to read the next chapter, The Rat Trap by Selma Lagerlof, which is on the theme, Essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love. Selma Lagerlof was a Swedish writer whose stories have been translated into many languages. This story is set in the middle of the mines of Sweden which are rich in iron ore. The story is narrated in the manner of a fairy tale. It gives us the message that the emotions of love and acceptance can reform others. Let's see the characters first. The main character, the rat trap or we can also say him paddler, iron master, Crofter, who was an old man, Adla Wilmanson, who was a daughter of Iron Master. Let's start with the summary. Once there lived a man who made his living by selling small rat traps of wires. He made them himself from the material he caught by begging. His business was not profitable, so he had to beg and steal in order to survive. His clothes were in rags and hunger gleamed in his eyes. One day he was engrossed in his thoughts about rat traps when an amusing idea crossed his mind that the whole world is a big trap. The riches and joys are paid for people just like cheese and pork for rats. As soon as anyone was tempted too much to touch the bait, it trapped him and everything came to an end. One evening, while walking along the road, he saw a little grey cottage by the roadside. He thought of taking shelter for a night in the cottage. The owner was generous enough to let him stay with him. He even offered him food to eat and tobacco for his pipe. Finally, he got an old pack of cards and played jollies with his guest until bedtime. The, ho the host had been a crofter at Romsjö Iron Works in his days of prosperity. Now, it was his cow that supported him. He revealed to the stranger that last month only he earned 13 or by selling the cow's milk. The crofter even showed him the money and the place where it was kept. The next day, both men got up early. The crofter milked his cow, after which they both left the cottage together. The crofter locked the door and put the key in his pocket. Thereafter, each went his own way. Half an hour later, the rat trap paddler returned. He went up to the window, smashed a pane, took out the 13 ore from the pouch and put the bag back and went away. Soon he realized that it was not safe to walk on public highway with the money, so he turned into the woods. It was a big and confusing forest. The paths twisted back and forth. He realized that he had been walking in the same part of the forest. Suddenly he remembered his thoughts about the world and the rat trap. He wondered he had let himself be fooled by a bait and had been caught. He thought that his end has come. Next, he heard hammer strokes from an iron mill nearby. He gathered all his strength and followed the sound. He reached the Ramstow Iron Works amidst the different sounds coming from the work going on. The vagabond, vagabond is our rat trapper, goes unnoticed in the forge until he stood close to the furnace. He looked shabby with a long beard and a bunch of rat traps hanging on his chest. Agreeing to his request, the master blacksmith allowed him to stay there for a night. Soon the iron master came into the forge for the inspection. He noticed the tall ragamuffin walked close up to him and tore off his slouch hat in order to get a better view of his face. The rat trap paddler did no know, didn't know the iron master. On the other hand, the iron master mistook the paddler for an old acquaintance and invited him to his house. The tramp declined the invitation, thinking that going to the iron master's place with the 13 hour could be risky. 
The peddler did not want to come with him as he felt embarrassed due to his miserable clothing also. He tried to comfort the peddler with his words but could not conceive, uh, convince him. The iron master went away but was not dispirited even by this constant refusal. He sent his daughter to persuade the peddler. She introduced herself as Elda Edla Wilmanson and asked him to come along with him to her house. She noticed that he looked afraid. Next, she proposed to him that he could leave the house as and when he pleased, but but must stay with them over Christmas Eve. The paddler agreed to her proposal. On his way to the house, he was regretful for stealing the money. The next day was Christmas Eve. The iron master entered the tiny room for breakfast. He was pleased to have his old comrade at home, but Edla was doubtful of the paddler. The iron master asked her to have some patience. Later, the paddler entered the dining room, all clean and well dressed. Soon, the iron master noticed in the broad daylight that he was not an old acquaintance as he had thought. That made him angry. The paddler tried to explain the situation saying that it was not his fault as he did not propose to come home with them. He even suggested to leave the place immediately. This agitated the paddler. He said that it was all the good things offered to him which lured him into this situation. And some day the iron master could also land himself in similar circumstances. The iron master started laughing. He did not call the sheriff but asked the peddler to leave immediately. Edla did not want him to go away. Instead, she wanted him to stay for the Christmas. She convinced her father saying that they had promised him the Christmas cheer. She added further, explaining the misery that the paddler must have gone through in his life and it would not be fair to send him away like this. Edla made the stranger sit and eat his food. Edla's behavior surprised the paddler consistently. After that, he went to sleep. He was woken up occasionally in between his sleep to have his share of the good Christmas cake and his meals. Next morning, the iron master and his daughter got up early and left for the church. While coming back, the young girl looked disappointed. She had learned at the church that an old crofter of the iron works had been robbed by a rat trap paddler. The iron master wondered that the paddler must have run away by now with their precious belongings. As he reached home, he came to know from the wallet, from the valet, that the paddler had already left the iron master's house empty handed and he had left a little package as a Christmas present for Edla. When Edla opened it, she found a small rat trap, the 13 or along with a letter addressed to her inside it. In the letter, the rat trap paddler thanked Edla for her kindness towards him and wanted to return the favor. He requested Edla to return the old crafter all his money. He even acknowledged that it was Elda's kindness and affection that changed him to become a better person. Thus, the essential goodness in a human being was awakened through understanding and love of Edla Wellmanson. He was able to redeem himself due to the essential goodness which which he saw and got from Edla. Hope you have understood the summary. Thank you.